hey hello and welcome once again to my youtube channel uh welcome back if you are a returning subscriber and this is your first time visiting don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the notification icon if you have any question you can contact me in the comment section you can contact me below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible so in this particular picture uh, this picture was taken with nikon d7000 uh, it will light it up of SK Kudos SK300 and I'm using a six stand wire which I'm using to reflect in the lights from above so that's about that so what I'm going to do now the background is not all that smooth so I'm going to be cleaning the background one number two I'm going to be removing all the blemishes from the background and also I'll add a little bit of overlay as you guys know uh, I'm more of a a manipulator than a retoucher so i'm going to be doing just that right now firstly as you know my rule i don't like working on my background layer so i love checking my before and after so first thing i need to do is just for me to duplicate my layer so i'll do that by clicking on ctrl j ctrl j so we're done with the first step second step for me to size it to uh, the size i want so I always love using 5x7 as my size. So I'm done with that for now. I'm expanding the background a little. You guys know I did that. If you don't know I, I do this extension, I uh, watch my other manipulation videos. I uh, even I did there. So now let's extend the background now. We are going to pick our market to over a rectangle market to drag over this area first, Ctrl T for free transform, then Ctrl T for free transform. Then hold down your shift key, drag it, drag it, drag it. You see it fits. Then click OK, Ctrl D to deselect. So do that to this this other side also. But whatever you do, make sure it doesn't touch your model. Because if you have to drag any part of your model, it's going to be obvious that you drag a part out of it. So now Ctrl T also. Hold down your shift key then drag then the select control to select so we're done with the first step next step now the leg is closer to the background as you can see why the leg is very very close to the background so we can't do that here so we're going to fix that by using our patch to we will make using our patch to right here so let's jump into that let me cycle this area bring it down sorry this area I want to work on. I will circle it and I'll drag it up. Contradict to select. Do the same thing here also. This area I want to work on. As you can see, Ctrl D. Drag it again. Just make sure you have a perfect selection. That's all you need. Ctrl D to select, sorry. Ctrl D to select. But as you can see right now, uh, it's not showing on this side. The reason is that this area is blank, so it doesn't know about the selection we just made right now. So we are going to do that by ourselves. So how am I going to do that? I'll still use my rectangle, my way to again. I'm going to drag it. You can see right now I've already cropped out the shoe which is not what I want so I'm going to bring it down a little bit with my directional key then I'll control T to T free transform control T shift shift key down then we're done control D to deselect control D to deselect so now we just extended the background but there are blemishes there which we have to amend so let's do that. We we'll go back to our past two again. Clean it off. Clean it off. Clean it off. The past two does the magic for us. The past two very easy to use. Just cycle the area you want to change. Then drag it to the area you want to be there. As simple as that. Drag it off. I
we are going to clean that soon enough so we're done with the first step the next step is now for we to crop out the picture from the background so we are going to be using our quick selection tool to do just that click on our click quick selection tool then select subject then we'll wait for it to load So once we want to do right now, we want to move the picture away from the background so that we can be able to clean the background to make it very very smooth uh, for it to use. So let's wait for it to load. Okay, it has done the selection for us, but the selection is not that perfect, but it did what it's capable of doing. So we are going to adjust the selection by ourselves. So we'll be using our polygonal axis right now to do that. So I've clicked on my polygonal axis right now, so I'm going to select the area. I'm going to be adding and deselecting also at the same time. Depends on the area I'm about to work on. So let's meet together. I'll meet together at the end of this selection. I think we're done with selection for now. Whatever I do, just make sure you have your perfect selection just to make your picture look nice. So what am I going to do now? I'm just going to duplicate it. Ctrl J. Just want the picture to be on an empty layer on its own. So that we could be able to work on the background. So that being said, the next step is now for we to clean the background. So I'm not going to be using blur to do that right now. I'm not going to be using blur. Uh, but we can just decide to use blur a little. But to use blow we have to delete the picture from the background so let's do that right now going to click on it then we'll go to our we'll click on our background layer which is our layer one we we'll go to select under select modify then expand so we're expanding by eight click on ok then we'll click on our delete key so we have to turn on our turn off our background layer and our image layer now as you can see we have our background alone over here so we'll turn it back on again. So now we'll go to our blow, filter, blow, then Gaussian blow. This time around, we're not using too many blow because we want to preserve our shadow. So let's make our blow around, I think 3.5 is okay. Then we'll click OK. So that we still want our shadow to be there so that it will look realistic enough. So we're done with that. Right now, we are going to go to our color adjustment here. Then click on solid color now 100% white which is FFFF so we'll click on ok once we're done with that but as you can see the picture is the background is looking neat but the issue we have right now is that uh, the shadow in the leg is not showing so we we'll love to clean, clean the shadow how are we going to do that make sure my color is on black then i'll go to my gradient tool 
I'll make sure it's also on black to nothing. So I'm just going to drag over the area I don't want the fill I, I just put to be. As you can see right now. Ctrl Z. So our shadow is back, which makes our picture look more real. So that's that about cleaning studio background. So now let me clean the black spot I have over here on the background. So let's clean this black spot up. Now we're going to do There's so many ways for me to do that, but I'm just going to be using my clone stamp to do that right now. So I'll pick on my clone stamp. I can use my uh, spot cleaning brush. So I'll sample from the area I want to fill. Sample. I hold my hot key down. I sample. Hold on my hot key. I sample. Then I paste it over the area I want it to be. As you can see, we clean up that area. And our background is looking a smooth. So these are before, these are after. So we can try to add just a little value to it. I'm going to be picking the value from my desktop. So I will drag it there do just a little bit of manipulation but it's not necessary for this particular uh not necessary for this particular tutorial it's just meant to spice up the work a little bit so i just drag it into my photoshop wait for it to load probably reduce the size first reduce the size then i drag it up or below our model so now i'm just going to clean off this area how am i going to do that the way i clean off this color over here this is my solid color that's the way i'm going to be cleaning this up so i'll just click on my gradient before i click on gradient i'll click on layer max then click on gradient i clean it off clean it off clean it off so we just have to reduce my opacity it's a bit you can see it blended it perfectly uh, there's no issue so far so thanks for watching guys don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the notification icon if you have any question you can contact me below and i'll get back to you